Mike Fisher reporting from Frisco here inside the Star, where Mike McCarthy's press conference has just concluded. Uh, we will walk you through some of that stuff over the course of the afternoon. A lot of information. Um, offensive line, quarterback, uh, different defensive system, cartwheels on the beach. Uh, but first, let me break down for you what's going on in the safety chase. Uh, and we'll do some of this with the help of McCarthy. We'll do some of this based on our own reporting. And uh, we'll do some of this in confirming some of the things that we've told you in the last few days. Keanu Neal, who uh, has signed on with the Cowboys, the former first round guy in Atlanta, who was a Dan Quinn guy there. McCarthy said today that he will start when he lines up in a meeting group with linebackers, but that he'll also be a safety. This confirms what we've been trying to say. This is a hybrid defensive player. Two, the signing of Jaron Kearse is not meant to be, oh, now they're not going to sign somebody else at safety. Oh, they're not going to sign a free safety. He is not a free safety, Kearse, and um, he has not been a very good player at safety. What he is is a special teamer uh, at six foot four and 215 pounds without much pedigree, former seventh round draft pick. Um, he can he can definitely help you uh, on special teams. McCarthy did say today, hey, listen, the more six foot four, he said two hundred and fifty, but you know you meant defensive ends or whatever. More six foot four, two hundred and fifty pound guys you can have on your football team, the better. And you'll notice they have a defensive lineman now in Urban who is six seven. They have an offensive lineman in Big Ty who is six eight. So he's not kidding. Uh, they have a safety now who I bet you will also be a hybrid guy backing up Neil in uh, Jaron Curse. So that is, a, that is another six foot four guy, another e extraordinarily tall for that position guy, uh, especially uh, technically as a safety. Now to the Demontre KZ versus Malik Hooker story. And you're gonna get this right. Uh, I must say, I, I, I take great pride in giving you the straight dope, and I let myself maybe get a, a little too bothered. What I'm seeing out there, people making stuff up. Demontre KZ came here and visited at the same time Malik Hooker did. KZ is a guy who Dan Quinn and Joe Witt have familiarity with because of their time together in Atlanta. He is coming off an Achilles tear. Before that, he was a playmaking free safety. Little guy, fast guy, center fielder. Uh, he could also theoretically do some things uh, in the slot. Played cornerback in college. I, I haven't checked this, I haven't asked. I assume that a guy like that can also help you on special teams. That is the replacement in almost certainly, uh, barring Xavier Woods just getting no offers, in which case, yeah, come on back here. Uh, that is the replacement for Xavier Woods. If they sign him, they have made an offer to Demontre KZ, age 27, coming off the Achilles, was in this building, right down the hall, yesterday, 24 hours ago, and did not only an interview but and a tour, but also the medicals. The medicals went well with Demontre KZ that they made him a contract offer. I don't know the numbers. I assume not extraordinarily lucrative. Although other teams, including the Detroit Lions, are in on him. Uh, he apparently traveled and is in Detroit today visiting with the Lions. Maybe they fall in love with him. Maybe they do the medicals. Maybe they make him an offer. The fact that the Cowboys made him an offer tells you everything you need to know about the medicals, right? By the way, thank you for subscribing to what we do. Uh, we have mentioned now uh, only once that in the last, uh, in this month, so in three weeks, 149,700 Cowboy fans have come here. Very flattering. Uh, I, I believe we're delivering the goods. I don't think we waste your time. We don't make stuff up and we don't steal stuff. 
I really would appreciate it if you'd like to subscribe. It's great that we have 23,000 subscribers in our family now. That's incredible. Um, it'd be even greater if of those 149,000 people that came here, hit the subscribe button. So KZ's got an offer. Cowboys want it. What does that tell you about his medicals? Obviously, right? He passed the medicals. There's a report out there that the Cowboys have offered Malik Hooker as well. That's made up. And that's the part of this that irritates me. Uh, as I get older, I try to get less agitated. It's not good for my system. But it bothers me that people are stealing information and making up information. I am telling you straight up, uh, and, and always try to do this. If you read our work or listen to our work, you hear us say, Dallas Morning News reported this first. ESPN reported that first. That's the only way to do this right. Don't like the stealing, don't like the faking. The Cowboys, as of last night, had not made an offer to Malik Hooker. Had not made an offer. Now, Hooker, uh, speaking on Twitter with one of our guys, said um, regarding the Achilles, it's good and getting better. And regarding the visit, it was great. And now we'll just see what, whatever will be, will be, and, we'll, and hope it works out. The Cowboys didn't make him an offer. What does that tell you? They made KZ an offer after checking out the medicals and the interview. Then, and at the same time, they did the medicals and the interview with Malik Hooker, who, by the way, is a uh, dynamic person. So I bet you the interviews did fine. If they didn't make Malik Hooker, who, when he was coming out of college, was going to be the next Ed Reed, and then did, once he got healthy through the summer, early on, exploded onto the scene with the Colts before getting hurt again and then again. If, if they made KZ an offer after they did the medicals, and then they did the medicals on Malik Hooker, who had the same injury, essentially, Achilles tear, and didn't make an offer, what does that tell you? And we're going to leave it at that because uh, if you follow this channel, you're smart enough to figure it out. Um, and if I say it too clearly, somebody's just going to steal it. <laughs> uh, Tyrone Crawford is retiring. We reported uh, that to you in January. That's been confirmed today by Coach Mike McCarthy, who uh, also talked about some issues, admitted really, some issues that they had with the installation of the new defense Last year, uh, Jane Slater, my colleague, and I uh, beat him about the head and shoulders um, in regard to the foolishness of last year's attempt to install in a virtual world. McCarthy did say that uh, they are preparing at this point for some of this offseason to be virtual. And when I asked him, so did you learn anything? Yes, we're going to scale things down. We're not going to try to, we are changing our defense again, but we're not going to try to do as much, put in as much, and we're going to try to teach what we do put in better. He said there'll also be some changes on offense. And maybe, uh, as it relates to the virtual thing, uh, some of those changes on offense will involve some simplicity there too. Y you don't want to get so simplistic um, that you're not keeping the other team on its toes. But you don't want to be so complex in your installation of what you do, especially when we're doing it over the internet. When we're doing it over... WebEx meetings, which is what they tried to do last year. McCarthy and Mike Nolan, only one of them got fired, but they both tried to do it. Stephen Jones and Jerry Jones, by the way, signed off on the idea, which was lunacy. This time, if it is virtual, and McCarthy says that's, that right now is where we're going, pending NFL approval to do more, then we will keep it a little more simple. He also said, McCarthy did, confirmed basically the Cowboys' plans to go to Oxnard, Jerry Jones said, we're going. Mike McCarthy says, I still never been. If you recall, it was right about this time last year when he was getting ready to get on a plane and go to Oxnard and visit and just kind of get a feel for it when COVID hit. And that shut that whole thing down. So Mike McCarthy has never really been to Oxnard and visited the facilities. He is planning on doing that soon. And the Cowboys are planning on going there. He said that the Cowboys staffers, McCarthy said, boy, these... You know, for me, I just want to get some football done. And I do think in the cooler weather, we're going to get some football done. But he said, of the Cowboys staffers, not to mention Jerry. Boy, everybody just raves about Oxnard. Everybody just says, this is the greatest thing ever. It's so fun. And he's right. And guess what? If the Cowboys go to Oxnard, you're going to Oxnard with me. Not on the plane. 
uh, but via the Fish Sports channel. Please spread the word of what we do here. Love your comments. Uh, love the folks that are jumping in to our premium fun group, about 100 of you almost so far, and growing. And then subscribe uh, and get it here first. And then when you go to the other channels, you can, you can, you know, get it second. <laughs> Fish out.